new law aimed at protecting homeowners against squatters goes into effect tomorrow. That's June 1st. And News 19's Emily Moser is digging into this. So, Emily, how does the new law change the process of removing squatters from someone's property? Well, under the new law, it's becoming a lot easier for homeowners to remove a squatter. Previously, the process could take several weeks, and now it may only take 24 hours. After tomorrow, June 1st, homeowners can press criminal charges on anyone who decides to take over their property without permission. They can request an affidavit from their local sheriff's office declaring the unwelcome guests to be removed. The squatter will only have 24 hours to vacate the property or face multiple charges, including burglary. Now, I spoke with an attorney who specializes in land and tenant law. She says the new law will be an asset to homeowners. It really gives them something in their back pocket because the fastest that an unlawful detainer, a landlord tenant eviction could go would be 21 days. Tenants serve, they have seven days to answer, court has to be set 14 days out, and then you've got to wait the seven day appeal period out. So even if those rocket through, you're looking at about a month. Ejectments are circuit court, so they take way longer than that. This in theory gives a 24 hour remedy. Now, the only situation where the new law does not apply is if it fam if, if family members are involved. Now, Ray says that's actually one of the more common types of squatting situations that they see. Now, the law also creates new penalties for falsifying real estate documents. Now, this law actually passed through the Alabama House and Senate unanimously as House Bill 182. Governor Ivey signed it into law on May 6, saying the best dwelling for an illegal squatter is a jail cell. Now, the new law goes into effect tomorrow. We're taking a look. Bird's eye view from Cecil Ashburn and Hunt.